Let's go over the tasks real quick that are in the gulp file. Uh, now you may find yourself wanting to modify these a little bit or extend upon them, or at least it's good to understand what they're doing. Uh, so that way you in the future can uh, change them. So there's a uh, clean task. Uh, the clean task is something that runs uh, automatically when you start your build. So when I first started the build, it goes through and cleans out your disk folder. Um, the reason it does that is to make sure that there's no cached um, files in there. And that way you're starting clean every time and then it's rewriting um, over. That's the reason also that you don't want to modify anything in the disk folder because it will get cleaned every time you start the project. Now there's also a copy task. This is actually used quite a bit. Um, you will, uh, the, the build actually copies over assets. Um, now it either does that before or after they're modified. So things like images um, will get copied straight over into the disk folder. Uh, things like your fonts probably don't need to be processed so they'll be copied right over into your uh, disk folder. So what it does is it takes things from your source folder that need copied over into disk and does that for you. Now, it, it also um, looks for things like uh, SAS and JavaScript. If they're compiled or concatenated, it will um, wait till that task is done and then copy them over. So just so you're familiar with where all that stuff is, if I jump down to the gulp file, so down here, gulpfile.babel.js, uh, this is what controls all of that. Now, if I look for copy, so there's a copy task, um, and I'm not gonna go through this for all of them, but just so you understand um, what this does, the, a pipe is basically, uh, gulp is just a series of tubes, and so, a pipe is just taking something and then transferring stuff through it to the other end. So in this case, uh, it's running a copy function, it's going into assets, and it's copying assets over into um, your dist folder. So dist is uh, called right here. So pages, pages is run by Panini. Uh, we'll talk about Panini in a little bit. Uh, that's actually something really powerful you can use. Um, but the pages task is what um, runs Panini. So if you ever see an error in pages, um, you probably know that maybe you forgot to name a handlebar correctly or, or something like that. Uh, and then uh, pages resets, basically this is a task that runs to make sure that there's no cached information. So um, it goes through and, and cleans things out so that way uh, you don't have any caching issues. Style guide uh, is actually really um, a powerful thing that should be used. Uh, it uses a plugin called Style Sherpa that we created to basically grab your SCSS and move them into the style guide template, which is a completely different um, website all on its own. Style guide is built into the Zerb stack here. You have a template. So the template is what actually is rendering the look of the style guide. So you have some CSS in the head there and then um, the actual template itself. And then the index file is written in Markdown. So you can actually jump in and create your own style guide in Markdown. Uh, and then we have this cool thing. If you do HTML underscore example, uh, this will actually take this HTML um, create the code block and then create the rendered HTML right below it. If you leave that off um, because maybe you want them to be a little different, you could uh, just wrap it in regular um, Markdown HTML and then put your output HTML down below. I'm not going to go into that too much, but that is also part of the Zurb stack. Uh, SAS is obviously a task that's included because we are talking about SAS. Um, so this will run through all your SAS files, anything in the assets slash SCSS file, and it will compile them. Uh, now, if you're in production mode, um, which I'll cover here in just a moment, 
there is an uh, uncss option that you can uh, use and that will actually reduce your um, CSS file size quite a bit because it goes through all the unused um, uh, classes and cleans everything out.